Hello everyone, welcome to episode 16 of We Happy Few. I don't know about you, but I'm really excited to see Sally again and to meet Sally, which is what we're going to do in a minute. First, I want to use the workbench because we can make some sneaky shoes with duct tape and cloth. I mean, those look really, I mean, those look really stylish, but they reduce the sound of our footsteps and the shoes allow you to run longer. So let's do those. It's, this is not a resource that is hard to find, so it can't hurt to have one of those. Let's try them out. Also, I saw that we can craft an electrolock shocker by ourselves, and I think I'm going to do one. Although we can also craft them on the go if we need them. So what else is there? There's a spiky brick. <laughs> Ouch, that looks painful. So a double knocker. For a double knocker we need more rocks. Two knockers are better than one. <laughs> and we can do an electric truncheon ourselves. Not too bad that I threw a lot of bobby truncheons away before, but I guess we will get some new ones. Ooh, what's this? A less, lethal a less lethal version of your British weapon of choice. It's a cricket bat, cloth scraps, a sewing kit, and coarse linen. It inflicts moderate non-lethal damage. Can strike multiple opponents with one swing. Oh, this is for non-lethal damage. So this is when we don't want to kill people. I mean, this might be interesting. So we need a cricket bat and a sewing kit. Oh, okay. And so this is Feramile is another drug that we can produce with tea leaves and rubbing alcohol and phytosteroid hmm okay I, I don't think we need this right now I really think that now we should go and visit Sally There's always the same statue here in front of our hideouts in the city. I also like these underground symbols a lot. So, where do we need to go? Okay, so it's not far from here. And this is just a normal bobby. Because I would rather not make the acquaintance of one of those doctors, so I'll just... Okay, but those are just bobbies. Am I going in the right direction or not? No, I'm not. I was so concentrated on not seeing a doctor that I went into the wrong direction. So, where to now? Okay, so if we take a right and then a left, we should be there. Okay, this looks safe enough. Oh no, there's a doctor. Okay. So this should be it, right? Why did I go wrong again? No! We should be here somewhere. Okay, well, let's take a break here. And... So maybe it's this one, this hole back here? Or can we just go through the door? No, I think we need to go through here. Oh, there's a doctor. Oh, great. How am I just passing now? I'm just standing here on the street. So are there any flowers that I could hide in here or not? No, I can't. Oh well. Am I wearing my sneaky shoes already? If not, then this is definitely the time to try them out. Yeah, we're going to try them out. Okay. Well, we should be able to take out this doctor, shouldn't we? I mean, we can take out the tall bobbies. 
then why not him? Can we go in here? You know what, I'll just go to craft a lockpick and get in there. Okay. And we're going to lock this door again. So, yeah, I think this is, I think this is actually where we need to go. So... Okay, so, yeah, we did it. This is actually where Sally lives. Now try not to fuck this up. You need a letter of transit. And an old friend. Oh, Sally. Sally? Sal? Sally who? Arthur! Oh. Come to have a go at me again. I used to think about what I'd say if I ever ran into you again. But, um, being a complete arse was sort of improvising there. Look, this is not a spectacular time. You said you know General Bing. Yeah, he's a client. A pharmaceutical client. I haven't had sex with anyone in ten years, and if I did, it wouldn't be with that man. Good. Did you really come here for a letter of transit? Or did you just need an um, excuse? Well, I, uh... Sort of do need the letter of transit. Oh, Arthur. If you're really gonna do something spectacularly stupid, these might come in handy. Uh, thanks. They make your pupils look teeny tiny, just like Joy does, but they have utterly no effect. About the letter? Could you do something for me? Uh, of course. What? I need a bottle of cod liver oil. I'd really like one. Cod liver oil? Why on earth would you want cod liver oil? Like your mum used to torment you with? I wish I could remember her. You know how joy fucks up your memories. Why? Why would you want to remember your mum? If it's too much to ask. Well, I was kind of hoping for absolutely I will ask my friend the general for a rotten scrap of paper just for old time's sake. Uh, I'm being an arse again, aren't I? I'll get it for you. The letter. I'm not crazy. But I am... always a little extra complicated. complicated. You used to understand. I'll, I'll get it for you. I mean, I'll try. You are always the best of the lot. I've missed you so. I really should go. You, you don't have to. I really, really have to. Arthur. Thanks. I'll just go. Oh, I meant to say cod liver oil. Dr. Verloc has some at the labs on us class. He keeps a whole private stash of rare ingredients. I'm sort of persona non grata there. I see I'm the competition. Look, be careful. Oh, well. Okay, we can read another diary entry, so let's read, let's find out what Arthur thinks about all of this. Because I certainly don't know what to think about this. So, why did Sally kiss me? It's not possible that she really wants me, is it? Because that is a consummation devoutly to be wished, and when you want something that much, you tend to miss the signs that you have lost all touch with reality. But for one shining moment, I was the hero at the end of the movie and I got the girl. Then I pulled away. Why did you pull away, Arthur? Because I was plummeting to earth and I had seconds to grab a parachute. I told her I was there about a letter of transit back into the city. She thought I was just there to see her again. Which one is true? I've been lying to myself about so many things for so long, I no longer trust myself at all. Before the great lips debacle, I managed to bring up her mom. Brilliant. She misses dear old mom. The woman tried to poison her and did in her entire fucking family. Why did I tell her I'd get her cod liver oil? Because she can get a letter of transit from, Johnny o from jolly old General Bing. 
How is that man still a vaguely important person after what he did in the war? And because I can never say no to Sally. I could say no to Percy, but not to Sally. Why in dog's name can I never say no to Sally? Yeah, I don't know. Oops. Oops. Nope. So is he gone now? Yes. Okay. I don't know what to think about this because this just seemed so... This whole conversation between them seemed really weird. Or a little bit awkward because I don't know. I can't shake the feeling that Sally just uses her charms on Arthur again and bringing up the good old times and whatever, and just just so she can I don't know, just so she can wrap him around her finger. I don't really trust her. She doesn't make a real trustworthy look to me. I don't know. She just seems like she gets she does what she she does what she needs to do to get what she wants. I don't know if that sentence just makes sense. Just made sense. Okay, so we just need to go over there to Habit Labs. So yeah, I really hope that this is the last um No, this is the last favor that we need to do Sally until she does us a favor. I mean, I don't know. This was so weird. Oh, there's another murder case. Oh no, that was a doctor. Oh well. Is he following us now? Okay. Okay, so they won't attack you immediately. But you should definitely walk away fast. Okay, that's good to know. Because we are very close to a memory loss. Hmm. I mean, I wonder, is this one? A, is this a good time to take one of those crash pills? I mean, we have two of them. Flushes all the joy from your body. Zero's out joy level does not reduce withdrawal. Um, oh no, it doesn't. Hmm. I guess that's part of the game, that where you... When you get it, you get it, but you can run away from it. Oh wow, this looks scary. Everything for you, Sally. I think I've been in lab since Harry Hayworth gave that big tour a few years oh. ago. Oh. I love a game of hide and seek. What? What is happening here? There's a... Okay. Ugh. Sorry, sir. There has been a slight hiccup in the disposition of the lab. And it is currently in isolation. No one in. No one out. Please come back later. Uh, but, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm a reporter. I'm supposed to interview Dr. Verloc. Oh, well, I hope he hasn't forgotten. Oh, a journalist, eh? Have you got your press pass? I uh, left it at the office. Well then, you'd best go back and get it, haven't you? So a press pass gets me in. Amazing what people will do to get in the newspaper. Maybe I can go talk to Mrs. Oliphant at the Oak Corral. See if she's got a spare press pass. 
Okay. So now we need to input, pose as a journalist. So where is this? Ah, it's here. Oh well. Everything for Sally. It seems like Sally doesn't didn't have the nicest childhood either. So I don't know. I don't know. I just think that I thought that maybe if we if we talk to her now it would be different or something, but I don't know. It just seems like no, she wants she wants Arthur to love her again. I don't know, so she can play him or something. Ah. I don't know what to think of it. Maybe I am misinterpreting this, but I said it before and I'll say it again. So far, not a big fan of Sally. And I really hope that this is not another dead end like I tried the last time when I decided to walk around the city. I hope that there is not a big rock wall awaiting me. Yeah. I could get her off join a tick. Might You're save our life. Get through this. It's gonna be okay. Try to breathe. Just try to breathe. Can't you see this woman is sick? What do you think you're doing? You want her to die? My god. I nearly had a heart attack, I think. Oh, goodness. Why is everything so grey? I feel so... sad. Thank God you've recovered. Here, take some joy. But I think the joy is what set me off. The moment I took it this time, I started to shake. Well, you can't just stop taking joy. You want to become a downer? I can't. Something's gone wrong with me. I can't tolerate it anymore. Look at her eyes. She's completely off her joy. Miss Minturn, you simply must take your joy. We insist. Yes, of course. I shall. Just let me catch my breath. It's like the joy just... I'll let you alone! I promise! No ah. Ah. Was it bad joy? Ah. Seems like there's been a lot of bad joy lately. Ah. I wonder if that's why there are so many downers these days. Or did I just never notice? I'm so sorry. Bloody downer! Not bringing me down. So sorry, but I just wanted to. Cheer up! Let's turn that frown upside down. I just wanted to help her. I just wanted to save her. To know that ah, oh, these people. Was it wrong to save her? I don't know. It was just so... I don't know. I just walked around the corner and I didn't really think about it. I just... I just gave her this weird... In I just gave her this injection and then, yeah. I thought I could help her with this, but apparently I didn't so much. <sighs> You are all horrible people and now you're walking around with your pipes. Why is no one suspicious of you that you're wearing weapons? <clears throat> so, I don't know, I think this is what... Yeah, there should be another side quest here. Isn't that Colonel Lawrence's house? He was the hero of Ramsgate, wasn't he? Colonel Lawrence. I wonder if changelings were just what people used to call people like Percy.
War Cripples Guild. Well, clean it again. Did you change the door codes? No. Never mind. You probably don't know how. Are you guessing if it's porridge? No. I'm turning the alarm system back on, which someone left off. You want some downer to walk in and take all our reserves? Why don't you tell the whole bloody neighborhood we've got reserves? Oh, yes. You must tell me about your wonderful reserves. Okay. Guard duty again. So, is there a way? Is there another way in here, or just this window? What if they never come back? So I guess this is also a mission that we could do at night. Because if I climb this, I can't even climb this window. How is there? If it moves, salute it. If it don't move, put it away. If no, there is no other way in here, it. right? I mean, these windows don't open. This is a huge house. So yeah, I think that maybe we should come back here another time. Maybe at night the window changes. I don't know. Okay, so pro tip, don't use the outside of town to travel because this didn't work out well for me. I just fast traveled. At some point after running around half the island I decided to port back to our safe house and walk through the streets. But yeah, this is how I found the lady almost dying and then being killed. That was so sad. But now we can also sprint through the streets and no one cares. Which is also nice. And then there's a side quest here. Let's take a look at this. Okay, I'm on the right way. this back soon gone for charged power so why would I hmm what could be so interesting in there that I would go through a downer detector without joy Because I doubt that this mission is just to place a power cell in there. Okay. I think I'm just gonna follow the main quest for now. It will be the night curfew soon anyway, so... Okay, so this seems to be our old workplace, because Arthur used to work at the O'Current. The Hamlin O'Current. Let's go in. My old office. That was fun, being a reporter. The receptionist is out for coffee. Typical. How am I supposed to get upstairs then? Popped out for some of the, for some of the good coffee back in a flash. Okay, and this is under police surveillance. <sighs> well, they're writing in a funny way. I don't know if this is effective. A lady can't go without coffee these days. It's unthinkable. 
Why did the door just open? So of a sneaking suspicion that they want some coffee. That's true. Seems I like it. Soon. I'm gonna shoot somebody. Hmm. So am I allowed? I must have coffee. Am I allowed to be here? It seems like it. So what's this? Make coffee reminder. If you drink the last of the crabgrass tea, kindly make another pot for others. Oh, I could have. Hmm. I bet if I got the coffee machine working, they'd all head off to the kitchen for a nice cup of joe. That's true. Oh wait. There's this power cell. And Mrs. Tingle's lily liver delight. What's this? Garden Club President Camilla Tingle is best known for her lovely garden. She was always fond of foxgloves, but stopped growing them years ago after her neighbor, the late Mrs. Boyle of Lot's home, accidentally used foxglove to season a soup. However, Mrs. Tingle has discovered that many other flowers that may be safely included in recipes. Lily bulbs taste like onions, she says. Why f we fry them up with V meat for our Sunday supper? Delicious! For a floral feast, try her recipe. Three lily bulbs, chopped, one LB of meat, any kind, butter, or any congealed fat. Stir and pan together until brown. Do not drain the fat. Well. Okay, so this is the first time that I think that Mrs. Boyle is Sally's mother, because Arthur said something about her mother trying to poison the whole family. Mmm, moldy bread. Okay, so we should be able... What? Okay, I'm going to place the power cell first. I don't have enough coffee. Is there more of it here? There's a newspaper employee card. I mean, why can't I just take this? Ah. So, what's this? Eagle-eyed willies may have noticed that some of Uncle Jack's shows have been repeats recently. This is no cause for concern. Uncle Jack merely has a light cold. He assures his viewers that he is taking plenty of joy and hot soup and should soon be right as rain. So, we need the whole beans. Oh, wait, aren't those... Oh some up there. There's honey and there's the coffee beans and there's tea leaves so we take those too. Anything else in here? Coffee beans. Okay very well because I would have no idea where to find more. Okay make toasted chicory. Okay, now everyone's happy again. So, we're just taking this card. No one saw this. We're going to swipe the key card and then we're going to go upstairs. Okay. Let's see if I can get Mrs. Onofant to give me my old job back and my old press pass. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to go to get our job back. This is a nice office. I would like to work here too. So, what's in here? Conference room. I like this place because it lets us go through the filing cabinets and everything without making a drama. Okay, we're done here. And this must be the editor-in-chief. So, I'm just gonna take a quick look upstairs. Oh, it's more desks. What's this? 
duels over the Oxford comma will not be tolerated. <laughs> okay. We will keep that in mind if we start working here again. Those are some... Those are some well-filled filing cabinets. There's some good stuff in this. And we just picked it up for nothing. So I wonder if there are some memories floating around here too. Thomas Dilworth. James Greenwood. Whoa, this is a nice sitting corner. John Hart. Okay. Oh, there's a fridge in here. Strange meat. Yes. I think I just stole someone's lunch. Oh well, let's just go in then. Arthur! Arthur Hastings! The whole place hasn't changed at all, has it? Where did you go? When you disappeared for two weeks? Did you ever remember? I must have had too lovely a time. <laughs> I was hoping you could use a reporter. I'm afraid I've got a half dozen of them. Bloody useless, the lot of them. I've got six pieces on my desk, all about the new flavour of joy. Can you imagine? It's coconut. Didn't Dr. Vlock make that announcement some time ago? Gemma wanted to do a piece on him. I hope she hasn't fallen in a hole somewhere. I haven't seen her in days. It's bloody frustrating, too. There's all sorts of silly rumours about the tunnels under Wellington Wells. Gas leaks, water main breaks, maintenance workers at the pub instead of their posts. If that were all true, Wellington Wells would be about to fall apart. I asked her to do a story about it. Oh, well, um, I'm sure she'll turn up and everything will be peachy. I'm sure it will. Lovely to see you, Arthur. Drop by any time, really. Gemma was always digging up interesting stuff, from what I remember. Maybe I should poke around her desk. Oh, okay. Well, I have a bad feeling what could happen to her. What could have happened to her. So what I'm really interested in is where is this duct leading us to? Or is this a quick way? Oh, okay, so this is the other door. Okay. Okay. So, I still can't disarm the trap controls, right? Oh, I can! With this spike thingy. But I don't think I need this right now. I don't know. Oh, it's past curfew. Well, shouldn't they be leaving then too? Oh, that's why they're leaving now. Okay, so Gemma is working in this office. I'm just gonna wait until this guy is passed again, and then I'm going to strangle him. Okay. Oh, okay, he's turning the other direction. I guess he won't see us through the door. No, I guess not.
what? I have no idea how he just didn't see us, but I'm not questioning it. They're still standing here drinking coffee. Okay. So this is Gemma's desk. Gemma Olsen. Maybe I should drop in on Gemma at home. If she's really vanished, then maybe I can get my old job back. I'm still waiting for your piece about the tunnel rats. I know what you're like when you're excited. Did you find something interesting underground? Very naughty to keep secrets from headmistress, Margaret. Uh, I have a bad feeling that Gemma won't be able to show her work. September 23rd. I think it would be fun to have a piece about the artistic hobbies of workers underground. You know, the tunnel rats and such. Oh, and there was some sort of art show. Have a look, would you? On a side note, I overheard a chap in a boiler suit say that you've been having motoline leaks down there. I'm sure it's just winging, right? Margaret. Okay. Okay, so I need to go into Gemma Olsen's house now. So, where is Gemma Olsen's house? Oh, it's not far from here. So, this is what we're going to do next. We're going to Gemma Olsen's house, but we're going to do this in the next episode. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.